What is going on and welcome to the video. I had a pretty productive morning doing some photos uh, of the casual line. We had our best looking model, it's me. Um, and right now we're going in Tyson's Galleria to return this suitcase because the second time Toomey has had to replace my zipper. Get your stuff together, Toomey. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm past 30 days, so if they tell me that I can't get my $300 deposit back for this bag, Max is about to go to jail because he's gonna be kicking someone's ass, dude. I'm going in. Hi, would you like a phone case from Toomey? It's only 70 doll hairs. No, I wouldn't. Got it. So we're in the fancier mall that I showed you guys a, a while back last time I was at Toomey. I wanna go check out the Burberry store. Not because I wanna buy anything, but I just wanna look at all the stuff that I can't afford. One piece of advice is if you ever are lucky enough to get a girlfriend, Buy them something from this store. Pro tip. I wouldn't know. So the fancier your brand gets, the more you can sell stuff like this for like $1,000. That's Prada, by the way. It's so fashionable. It needs more holes. No, no, no. You know one thing that I don't like? I don't go into these like super fancy stores too often. I'm not sure if they're either trying to be really, really helpful, they really want to make a commission sale, or they think I'm gonna steal something. Because whenever I've gone into like a Burberry or something, they're just like, are you gonna buy something? <laughs> if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, then you know I'm a huge fan of the button down. I think it's something that is gonna be staying in style for an indefinite amount of time. It's not like a trendy item. And also, you know that I own a lot of them. And you also, also know that I am a huge advocate of not paying full retail price for button down items because like this Polo Ralph Lauren is $100 and there's even button downs that are more expensive than this. And I just don't think that these should be that expensive. So that's why I am trying to create more casual items such as button downs that not only will be a fantastic fabric, are gonna fit excellent, they are going to be at a price point that I am that I think they should be at, which is gonna be right under $50. So, really cool stuff coming soon. And when you have the ability to create a product that you can kind of take the things that you love and change the things that you hate, AKA the price of them, um, I think that's a cool feeling. So, exciting stuff coming soon. Okay, before it gets too hot and we die of hunger, we're gonna do the last little photo shoot thing, but this, is, this isn't the outfit. The outfit's right in this car. Let me, let me go get it, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, a sick transition, Max, what, dude? Oh my God, sick transition, dude. Let me show you guys the outfit, check this outfit out. All right, so what we got going in here is the, just the nicest button down that you're ever gonna experience in your life coming soon. We got the, um, the, hey, I'm about to walk my girlfriend or wife down the beach. Go out to a nice brunch, that's what Kevin said. We rolled up the double cuff. You do the double cuff to show a little bit of ankle, show a little skin, you know what I'm talking about? And then we got on the loafers. These loafers are so new, they still got the mother effing stickers on them. Dude, and you might be like, Max, why do you have just one sleeve rolled up? Because I'm about to learn you right now and show you the proper sleeve rolling technique, okay? So I like to do something very casual, okay? You know, one roll that you could do is just flip the cuff back like this. And this is the, uh, hey Max, I'm here to party, super casual, right? But I like to go up the forearm. You don't wanna go above the elbow because that's like, hey, I'm about to like do some labor or something. You don't wanna do that. So what I like to do is you fold it right on the cuff. You fold exactly the cuff length back like this. Take your time, take your time, take your time. And then you one more time, tuck it, make sure that you're tucking the fabric underneath so you don't get any bunching, right? Work it, work it, work it, work it. Go like this, rotate a little bit, make sure it's clean, and wham bam. Thank you, ma'am, you, you got a freaking outfit. Let's go shoot some photos, dude. All right, guys, we're at what we call the location. That's what in the biz we call this. 
And essentially what we're doing is we're scouting. In the biz, we call that location scouting. And now what I'm doing is I'm setting up the shot. And if you're a photographer, uh, correct terminology for that would be to uh, be like shot setup. And you know, you just kind of make sure you get the lighting right. You don't want it too bright, but you don't want it too dark. You know, it's just, there's a lot that goes into taking a photo. You know, you gotta press the button down and it's just really complicated stuff, so. Oh yeah, that's, that's it right there, dude. You wanna get low or you wanna get high or you could get in the middle. One of those three areas is probably the best way to take a photo. So this is the shot we're gonna get it. I'll make it seem like I'm taking a really important business text, you know? Just authenticity is what we're trying to sell here, that you can walk around and wear this shirt at the same time. Got it? Oh, car. Okay. See guys, sometimes the perfect photo is not you acting like you're taking a very important business meeting. It's not you acting like you're walking across the street. It's you eating a donut that's gonna get more interaction. But I thought a glazed donut, that's not good enough. Strawberries with sprinkles, dude. Uh. Yep. You might be like, Max, do you set up these shots when you pull in? No, I don't, dude. I gotta get a sicker angle. No sickness. <laughs> All right guys, Casual Max here. Exciting package today. You know what this is? You know what these are? They're a little thing called stretchy pants. We are having an exciting, let me just show you one. I'm gonna, I still have to go through them all, but some exciting stuff going on. Girls high waist shorts, girls three, comp uh, three quarter compressions, full length compressions with like mesh in there. Oh my God, it's so super cute. Look at this. For example, here's some three quarters with some white print on there. <gasps> oh! I'm gonna eat some Chipotle first and then go through these because um, I'm trying to bulk up. I'm adding five carbs each every two weeks. Slow bulk. S slow bulk. Slow bulk. Can't say that word. Two words. Slow bulk. Unique New York. So I'm not gonna go over every single sample that I got, but one of the biggest business tips I can give you if you are in the apparel game is to always get samples because the 3D digital concepts of what you think the product is gonna look like can be different when you get them in hand. So always take the extra time and get samples and then make changes and get samples and get samples. And what I'm doing is actually, we are relaunching the compression pants. We're doing a 2.0, not because I feel that they need like drastic change. I'm just making very minor tweaks and going all new designs. So one of the most popular items that I sold last time was the phantom it's just completely black on black and I want to show you kind of the 2.0 version of the phantoms so this is it right here a much larger larger logo I moved it over to the right hip it cuts off right here it kind of spans down the leg we have the abbreviated on the back and one of the biggest selling points of the compression pants is the pocket that holds your phone I'm not sure why every you know, pant company makes stretchy pants, doesn't put pocket. But the issue with the last pocket is that it kind of just floated on the side of the pants. So what I did is I actually moved the pocket slightly over and added a second seam right here. So not only is it kind of more visually appealing, it eliminates the potential of like the corners, the threads kind of fraying. So that will just, just, you know, improvements, it, always improvement, 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 improvement. And you guys hear me talk about the compression pants so much. And I'm very, very passionate about it because I truly feel that I've created an excellent product that I think can dominate the compression pant market. And I know a lot of you that maybe have been on the fence about purchasing some, and I want to give you a little bit more of incentive. So since we're redesigning everything, shorts, three quarters, pants for guys and girls, we're having a 2.0 launch in maybe like two months or so, I want to clear out a lot of the inventory and I want you guys to try this so you can fall in love with stretchy pants. So I'm gonna do a flash sale, 48 hours, 15% off, okay? 15% off using the code love on the website, first link in the description, for the compression pants only. If you've been on the fence, try them out. I know that you will feel that these are some of the best compression pants you've ever put on your booty. So thank you guys so much, and we're gonna take over the compression pant market. That's for show. It's gonna happen. Potato Nation, compression pant nation, dab, dab, dab.
So our gym may not have 30 foot ceilings, and because of that, it kind of looks a little smaller than it actually is. But you know what we do have that everyone else doesn't? Air conditioning. It's like 90 degrees outside. I'm about to go put a jacket on because it's too cold in here. So because I'm not starting my new training, the power building, to get a little more jacked, I don't flex too hard. The band is going to pop off, like I said. Until I start that, I'm kind of like a, like a little chicken running around with his head cut off, and I don't really know how, well, how to train because um, I'm so used to programming right now. So right now we're doing some close grip. Work on those chicken tenderloins. So I'm gonna show you a set of five. Now close grip is essentially wide grip, but closer. So with this new style of training, I'm going to be doing power building, power lifting, body building. Am I going to get like jacked? That's the big question that, you know, everyone wants to know. Because I'm not, I'm not the biggest guy on YouTube. I'm not the strongest. I'm definitely the most annoying. But like, I mean, I've physically kind of been the same size since I've started. I've improved a little bit, but compared to everyone else, I am one pathetic loser, but would you guys like like my channel more if I had more mu like bigger muscles, or if I was like way stronger, or if if I was to stay a tiny human being for the rest of my life, would you still watch me? If I got locked up tomorrow and sentenced to a quarter century, would you sit there? I was trying to make a fifty cent thing. If my muscles didn't get any bigger, would you still like my channel? Would my channel get better if I had a bigger bicep? Grow! Grow! So a lot of people who make YouTube, they always want to know, like, what can they do to make it? To get big on the YouTubes, in the fitness world, right? And guys, don't ruin my... We're gonna keep it going, we're gonna keep it going. So, to get like a successful following on YouTube, you really need to take what makes you unique and kind of like, you know, run with that. Like you don't watch me because I'm the best looking guy out there. If you wanted to watch that, you'd go watch Steve Cook, you know? You don't come to me for that. You don't watch my channel because I have the smallest calves. If you wanted that, you'd go watch Christian, you know? Like you gotta find out what you're good at and just go after it. So I like to feel that I bring entertainment value. I like to bring a little happiness, maybe a little wackiness into your life to make your day a little bit better. And one thing that I see on the interwebs, and I'm still gonna make this video about you know my cool transitions and everything, a lot of people get caught up in the transitional game, the edits. There's a little thing called a chung da. You wanna see what a chung da is? That was a chung da right there. And a lot of people think that if they just incorporate and make like you essentially have like epileptic, epileptic seizure during their edits. Like that's gonna make their videos better, right? We can do that right now. You ready? Boom, boom, foof, foof, shing, shung, fu, fu, pa. You see? I can add all those things in too, but that doesn't make good content. You know what makes good content? Acting like a freaking idiot on the internet and in the gym. That is how you become successful on the YouTubes. It's not about how big your muscles are, guys. My calves have been the same size since 2006. We're still here today. What a time to be a leaf, you know? Mm. And I may not take myself seriously, and I may not take, take working out seriously, but if there's one thing I do take seriously, it's finding the best sour candy, and I'm still on the mission to find that, guys. Be yourself. Create content that people are gonna wanna come back for you because outside of your chung das, your chung das, your chung das, you lack substance. Make people come to your channel because they like you. Which I guess I'm still not sure why people come to my channel to this day, but leave a comment down below.
What do you like the most? Or what, maybe you don't like my channel at all. Maybe you're one of those people that are like, yes, Max uploaded a new video. Now I can go thumbs it down. Hell yeah, dude. <sighs> Not YouTube fitness enough. There we go, dude. Oh god, this is so heavy! Come on! I'm gonna kill myself. How shredded am I? I'm so freaking shredded, dude. What have I always said? How to be happy in life? Get more shredded. Relationship not going how you want? Get more shredded. Haven't got that promotion you want at your work yet? Get more shredded. You want a Lamborghini? Get shredded. Basically, when it all comes down to it, I like to consider myself an entertainment YouTube channel that just happens to pick up weights and then put them back down. We do a little power lifting. We do a little bicep curling. But at the end of the day, guys, seeing this all the time, it's not what I'm about. There's more to my substance than lifting weights like sick angles, dude, and being single forever, you know? Ugh. Ugh. By the way, something really exciting coming in the next video. You wanna know what it is? I'll give you a hint, okay? Here's a hint. Was that an exorcism or something else? Find out in the next video, dude. All right, so to end out this video, I want to give two huge announcements that happened today. Two really exciting things in my life that are going on today, right now. One, if you've been following my channel for a long time, you know that this game, Path of Exile, look at this skill tree right here, guys. Look at this freaking skill tree. If you like Diablo, I've been playing this game for like years and years and years, and today they just launched like the biggest expansion update to the game of all time. The game is 100% free. I'm like, I wish I was sponsored by this game because they've kept my attention for so long, but the game is Path of Exile. I'm just gonna put it on the screen, pathofexile.com. It's 100% free to play. If you want to play with your boy Maxi, uh, my name is, jo oh, where, where am I, hold on. My name is YouTube Lord Max Tuning. I play hardcore because I'm sick and I like to die and want to punch my computer screen. But the second thing that is happening, we got Taylor over here. You guys have not seen him before, but he is, what's your like by trade? What are, what are you? I'm a software engineer by trade. Software engineer by trade, but he has been redesigning the Everford website, a complete revamp rehaul. And this isn't like a template that's just getting tweaked. It's a like ground floor. Like, Literally everything is custom. Like I built it from the ground up. It's not your generic Shopify theme. So everything you see on the new Everford site is completely custom uh, to what I built it super sick so we are converting that over right now so if you guys want to go snag the compression gear for the sale 15 percent off using love then you're going to experience the entire new website it's super sick and i'm going to put his info down in the description so if any of y'all have any website needs you do like a lot of like freelance stuff yeah i do freelance stuff uh follow me on taylor bagwell fitness on instagram i'll my put all that down info, there uh will be in the bio i'm also working on my new personal website which will be launching soon uh taylorbagwell.com so if you want to check that out in the next couple of weeks uh, that'll be up within the next week or so. Hell yeah, so we're gonna do that right now. Go check the website out, see his work, and I'm super excited because the new Everford site is the dopest. So thank you guys for watching so much. <sighs> Hope you just have a great day. Goodbye, Everford. Potato Nation, Vape Nation. Peace out, bye. <laughs>